Timo Sullivan, Chief Executive of Highways England. Thanks for joining us at the CIHC conference. Um, the conference today is all about managing transport in an uncertain world. Um, I suppose, how do you describe Highways England's greatest uh, uncertainties, greatest risks at the moment? I think our greatest risk is the skill shortage. As we look forward to the end of this current race, you know, and the subsequent is we are wondering where we're going to get all the people who can do these jobs. Right. Uh, we're working it, we're working it with DFT, but that's our, our greatest risk. And to what extent do you think, I suppose, the, the changes that have been going on around uh, the funding of Highways England and also, I suppose, the, the outlook of Highways England, does that change those risks? Does that, does that make it easier to, to find the right people? It does. I mean, the certainty of the five-year funding and the fact that we're already starting the conversations about the next five years means that actually uh, our supply chain is well placed to, to start looking at those risks and to plan for the longer term. Right. It takes four years to train an apprentice. They need to do it now, yeah. even for the next race. And, you, and you're working very closely with that, that supply chain to, to make sure that they're changing with you. Absolutely. Okay. Conference will also explore today uh, issues such as people, places and infrastructure. Um, do you think the Highways England is really getting focused on its customers now and on outcomes rather than on infrastructure? Yes, I th we're not there yet. You know, for us, this is the start of a journey. But undoubtedly, one of the changes from agency to company was to realise that companies have customers and we need to do something about customer service. Why is that important? Because our users, in four years' time, and we're going to the next reason, our users will actually be paying directly for our services through vehicle excise duty, what you might call car tax. Yeah. And when they're actually paying for what they get, you bet they'll have an opinion, and you bet they'll give it to us big time. And they're letting you know about it already, they're, I imagine. They're starting to, yes. Right. Do you think the industry, perhaps, uh, you know, there's a lot of the supply chain here today, do you think that they are still too focused on projects rather than on outcomes and customers? Perhaps a little. Um, you know, we're talking to them about their role in customer service. Mm. For instance, if we're not working in a particular area on roadworks, why not put the speed limit back to 60 mile an hour if we don't need it to be 50 for safety reasons? So this idea that you might change the speed limit during the course of the works because it's what customers want, mm. that's a new feeling for them. Right. So they're getting the message, but they're not there yet. But you, but you, you realize that or you understand this kind of notion of you know, you're the client, so therefore we need a contract with you rather than, I suppose, a relationship with you as, a, as, a, as, as the guardian with the customer's yeah. needs. Yeah, I, you make it sound terribly old-fashioned, this use of the phrase contract. Yeah. We're looking for a bigger relationship than that. Of course, there's a contract. Right. Um, there always will be. Um, mm -hmm. But we are looking for a bigger relationship. And, you know, they're their customers too. Yeah. Roadworks um, is a key part of our offering now. You know, if you're going to drive, with the number of smart motorways we're doing, mm -hmm. if you're going to drive anywhere on one of our motorways, at some point in the next three or five years, you're going to come across Roadworks. Yeah. We have to make that as pleasant an experience as we can for you. Yeah. So, going back to where you started, skills, do you think that the supply chain really has got the new skills, the new, I suppose, digitally enhanced, the new uh, technology-focused skills that you need? Well, I think they're out there, um, but I think it's a journey for them and for us. You know, as, our, as the nature of our mission changes, so the nature of their mission changes, yeah. and it's something we've got to do together. Yeah. Jim, thanks a lot for your time today. Big, big challenge of the future. We look forward to keeping an eye on them. Thank you. Good to see you thanks. again.